Hi everyone! Let me share the tale of two titans of the watch world, spanning the course of 30 years. The Patek Philippe Ellipse Jumbo reference 3738 from the 1980s versus the mid-1950s Audemars Piguet reference 1593. Patek Philippe at Watches and Wonders 2024 recently introduced the new reference 5738 ellipse, a testimony to its enduring legacy. This particular ellipse is double-signed and once retailed by Gubelin. The Audemars, now known to modern collectors as a disco volante designed by Gerald Genta, can be referenced to an archival photo presenting the same reference number 5093 with the identical configuration as the one I'm showcasing. Both names are apropos in the overall design of their cases. The ellipse measures at 31 millimeters and is perfectly proportioned with the smooth bezel. The Disco Volante's round and ultra thin case measures 35 millimeters with a hobnail bezel. The ellipse's sunburst blue dial signed Gubelin houses gold applied hour markers. The blue is achieved by mixing cobalt blue with 24 karat gold, a process uniquely created by Patek. In contrast, the Volante features a gold leaf print crosshair and rings against a printed silver dial. Both designs share sword shaped hands. The ellipse is flat and in gold, whereas the Volante is more rounded and gold colored. While both models contain 18 karat bracelets, this paddock has a thick woven mesh fully integrated into its case and feels robust when worn. In contrast, the Audemars has a thin and supple brick style bracelet which provides a more airy feel. Incidentally, it can be interchanged for a leather strap as shown with the Volante we sold last year. The Ellipse has an adjustable clasp compared to the Volante's double folding deployment. Both watches house exceptional movements. The Ellipse features a caliber 240, still in use in various guises since 1977. The beautifully ultra thin automatic movement houses 27 jewels and an off center 22 karat micro rotor. Its thickness is remarkable for an automatic movement, giving way to a 6mm thick profile. Now, the Volante contains a remarkably slim LeCultre based caliber 2003, highly notable in the 3.5mm silhouette of the case, housing one of the thinnest manual movements in production for over 50 years with 17 joules. These two distinct watches can be appreciated in present day, a reflection of the longevity of their design. Which of the two call out to you? I am particularly fond of the Volante for its quirky characteristics. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you'd like to see more, visit us at FabSwiss.